Well, I was just telling him, you know, he right. he was saying that if who's making it right? He was, I was I was saying I was thinking about how he was talking about building the shed over here, and that my thinking was if he bought if he put it on those biscuits, those concrete biscuits, they're they're hard, but I'm picturing it all sitting there looking peaceful. Wintertime comes, a lot of wind comes, and it goes and falls on the mini Winnie, and then you got damage. And I thought, it might be a good idea if we secure those somehow. And he said, yeah, I was kind of thinking about that. And then he's like, but then it opens up the possibilities of future videos. And I was like, yeah, you could have videos of you going, well, that didn't work. I mean, he could blame me, and then I could blame him, and then we could both say it was the other one's fault. Well, what about the Mini Winnie? And then you would have, you'd have videos where you'd be like, I can't believe Richard and Josh both worked on this and didn't think of this. And then you, you, Dad would have to have videos where he fixed the problem and... Well, what you know, about the Mini Winnie? Then I could have videos where I'm talking about how he fixes the problem because he didn't do it right the first time like I told him. And then you could have videos like, I can't believe he's so dumb, he didn't think of this. Well, we we just, also figured we could blame it on 63 Impala because he's not here to defend himself. Right. Yeah. <laughs> if he was here, he could have done it. But no, he's got to be all the way over there in Washington State. And then Mr. Comatose would get all involved and he'd tell me how we should have done it in the first place. Right. And how he can't believe that we didn't do it right to start with. And exactly. Cutworm. Cutworm? Yeah. Cutworm would just enjoy the whole thing. He just laugh. He just laugh. <laughs> oh, I got a, I got a, a, a subsonic nuclear weapon out in the garage that, that Cutworm sent me. I seen he sent you a torpedo. And we need to, we need to, we need to de disarm and deactivate that and see what's inside it because there's a, there's a secret surprise. It's kind of like a big box of Cracker Jacks that could blow up the whole neighborhood. I've got special tactical gear now that I can wear while we un undo it so that we don't actually have our hands interrupted. Yeah. We can still get in there and have a have a fish eye view of what's going on okay. in 4K video. Well, if you if you if you videotape that and then we send it out to the troops, if they ever find themselves in a similar situation, if they it can. If blows us up, Trish can can crawl through the wreckage and find the GoPro camera and get the little memory card out. Yeah, yeah. In there and make yeah. A video. It's the black box of GoPro. And, and then and then she can make a video about. I can't believe those guys were so stupid. They blew themselves up. They should know if Cutworm sends them a torpedo, they should. Yeah, exactly. Their face first. And then Don't she can it. blame it on 63 Impala because he's not here to defend himself. And then Mr. Comatose can comment about he can't believe we're so stupid we did that. I think we got this knocked out. I think we got this figured out. I think we know what has to be done. I think Trish, I think Trish has stopped listening to us altogether. <laughs> okay.